Hey guys, what's up? T the hair doctor. Haven't been on for a while, but I'm here getting ready to do a quick um, unit for one of my clients. I'm going to use the 27 piece number 27 by Empire. And then I have two additional other packs of hair she likes to use. Um, this is like just some outre, a little blend, a mix of 27 and 30. And then I have an additional pack of 27 straight hair. I think it's like a 10 inch or 12 inch. And that's Black Diamond, really good brand. So, and then I'm gonna use a um, Lace 613 Closure. It, it's a really good, um, it's a really good brand. Uh, I I'll say the texture of it, I really like it. The lace is nice, um, not flimsy, so. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Um, putting that on now, I'm going to put the frontal, the closure on first. And as you can see, it's nice and see-through. And she is a fair complexion woman, so I won't have to do too much tinting to it. So yes, thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you put your post notification buttons on. Like and subscribe. See the hair doctor. And one more thing, you want to make sure you have T pins to secure um, the sides of the closure. So when you're sewing it down, it won't move. So make sure you have a pack of T pins. That's what I'm going to do for both sides. Going to T pin it down that where it's nice and secure. So guys, I'm using um, on this side, on the left side, the 27, 27 piece. Hope that makes sense. So it's the 27 piece hair, number 27, because she wants one side to be shorter than the other. So 27 piece on this side, I'm gonna go all the way up to I actually meet the top of the closure. And remember when you're using the 27 piece, if you're trying to do that close, um, short look, make sure your tracks are close together. You want to make sure they're kind of like on top of each other. That way when you mold it down, you won't have any gaps or spaces. Nice, smooth, seamless look. So now guys, I'm going to proceed to use the longer pack of 27 and this is like a, um, like I said before, like a 10 to a 12 inch. So I'm going to actually use the majority of that hair. And 
later on I probably will use the um, mix blend I think it was the the 30 I can't remember the uh, actual color but it was like more of the piano color so I'll probably use just a little bit a little bit of that one a little later because it is pretty short I'm not sure if she knew that that hair was kind of short so I don't want to actually mess up the flow of the hair so of the style so I don't want to put something that's too short in there so I'll be using majority of the 27 Okay, so I'm finished with all the other sewing down. So I'm going to actually cut down some of this, some of this um, 613 and the sides down kind of smooth. That way, when I get ready to put the mannequin under the dryer to give that smooth, um, short effect on the side, everything will lay in place just well. So I'm just kind of notching it, playing it by ear. I don't have like any order to this side, just making sure it lays nice and flat. But be careful because you don't want it too short because you don't want to cut it down where you will see the thread or the track. So be gentle. Take your time. And then I'll be moosing her down and getting it styled. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks again. See the hair doctor. So guys, as you can see, she is all dry and I have switched her to my fabulous mannequin head. She is ready with her lashes done by who? Me. Yes. So I'm getting ready to feather her up now. And actually, you can now see the effect and the style that the lady is trying to achieve. And the wig that she wants to get where it has the asymmetric look. One side is longer than the other. 
And as you can see, that 613 is popping with that 27 blendage as well. And I layered it up. Now I'm going to curl her. Thank you. 